Chip the monk is a Christ-like figure who answers some of the now what questions in his story. And I think so many of us, I, I hope you too, it felt like a familiar story to me, bringing me back to the very beginnings of what I imagine it's like when we incarnate, just before we incarnate, what happens? How does this all play out? And then what's our charge as we come forth? So this delightful book is in four parts. And if you would indulge me, I'd like to pull up a stool and read you a storybook. <laughs> oh, the subtitle is Be Kind to Your Mind. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's catchy. So the first part is the great forgetting. A long time ago, harmony was felt by all. All beings very big and all beings very small. Everyone danced and sang happy songs. They laughed and they played the whole day long. Then one day something happened that was stranger than strange and quick as a wink, everything changed. People forgot how to have fun and be glad. They spent their days feeling upset and mad. Something terrible and dark had invaded their lives, causing chaos and troubles to rumble and rise. I don't know if you see the bubbles say things like mad, trouble, upset, angry. The invader was pea brain, a mean little pea who didn't want laughter or harmony. The meany green pea blew unhappy bubbles, changing bright sparkly thoughts into boo-hooey troubles. <laughs> pea brain appeared from out of nowhere, making people feel bad, for he just didn't care. They all believed what the trouble bubbles said and let the ugly thoughts go straight to their head. After a while, there were no more smiles, only hopeless faces for miles and miles. The world fell into an ocean of sorrow without any hope for a better tomorrow. The harmony animals knew what was true and sensed right away what it is they should do. They journeyed to a place that had once been their home to ask for help and the path to be shown. There was Dolly the llama who helps dissolve drama. <laughs> and the harmony bees who are always at ease. Timothy the turtle who helps overcome hurdles and holy the cow who lives in the wow. <laughs> this gets funnier as I read it, especially with you all. Harmony Village was the place of their birth. They returned there to wise one who came from the earth. They knew that her wisdom would help them get clear and how to help people get out of their fear. Beneath the shade of the wisdom tree, they waited for wise one patiently. They sat as quietly as they could, and her face began to appear in the wood. She listened as they told the very sad tale, but she already knew it was just a bad spell. Wise one had seen that this might come to be if people were tricked by the lies of the pea. Pea brain, she explained, isn't actually real and has no power over how people feel. But when they believe the meanie green pea, this is what they will start to see. Wise one told them that a guide would soon come to show how the spell could be over and done. They would work as a team, brave and wise, to put an end to pea's dreadful lies. After listening to wise one, they felt so blessed and settled for a much needed rest. They peacefully waited for the guide to come to bring back the joy and the bright, sparkly fun. So that's part one, the great forgetting. Let's just take a pause for a moment. Have you seen the great forgetting happening in our world? Yeah, we're pretty clear on that, right? Do you see it happening for you that you forget? 
We forget, we remember, we forget, we remember. And so, <clears throat> have you met Pea Brain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know Pea Brain really well, right? The second part is the arrival. So wise one knew that the time was near for the guide she foresaw to finally appear. One day she felt a small little twitch and thought it might be something to itch. But when she turned her head, what did she see? A baby chipmunk asleep on a branch of her tree. When he slowly opened his bright twinkly eyes, wise one knew right away he had finally arrived. Holding the little one close to her heart, she went to the village with great news to impart. The animals marveled as they gathered around and gazed at the treasure that wise one had found. They were thrilled to meet Chip, their new little friend, who would help bring the gloom in the world to an end. They jumped and they jiggled, they sang and they wiggled. They were so overjoyed that they fell down and giggled. Chip grew up loved and free with wise one and friends near the wisdom tree. But there came a day when he had to be shown what was happening outside of his safe, happy home. Wise one had known from the very start that Chip had to know this terrible part. They sat together so he could see all the chaos and upset unleashed by the pea. When Chip saw Pea Brain for the very first time, he felt scared that the pea was so mean and unkind. Looking at Wise One, his trembling voice small, he asked her what would become of them all. That's when she told him that he was the one. She explained his mission and what was to come. When Chip heard her words, he thought he'd heard wrong. He was frightened, for he felt he wasn't that strong. So that's the arrival, your soul, born. You are Chip the monk, born. Do you perceive that you have a home with this wise one and other supportive souls here on earth and maybe from your origin point, whatever that may be? And do you remember or feel a sense of time when you were shown the earth and shown perhaps what your purpose was? What was yours to do? How were you to contribute? We don't always remember exactly. Sometimes we're fortunate enough to come into that memory. But we have a sense. You have an intuitive sense. And as you follow that sense, it opens more widely and more clearly. Maybe 2024 is the year we'll learn more. <laughs> it's a fun year. We're going to have fun with that one. <laughs> Part three is the decision. Chip has to make the decision, and so do we. He ran back to the village and hid under his bed, trying hard to forget what wise one had said. For how could a sweet, gentle soul such as he stand up to someone as mean as the pea? Chip couldn't stop all the voices in his head. They were saying, don't do it. There's danger ahead. The thought of it all just filled him with dread. Perhaps he thought, I'll just stay here instead. Anybody ever relate to this? As Chip, all alone, tried hard to decide, the animals stood patiently right outside. They're like prayer chaplains outside the window. <laughs> Their powerful love slipped under his door, surrounding him while he cried on the floor. And he allowed its message to enter his mind. He began to feel lighter and stronger inside. And after three days, something started to change. It was alarming. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that'll just stop on its own. The voices got quiet. No trembling remained. He bravely emerged from under his bed, willing to accept what wise one had said. 
He went out and found her under the tree and said, I trust what you see in me. I'm still a bit scared and small in size, but I feel I can see through pea brain's lies. She assured him once more that he was the one and that his training would help all his fear be undone. A celebration began once the news got around that Chip had said yes, that his strength had been found. The animals promised to keep playing their parts, surrounding Chip with all the love in their hearts. So our apprenticeship begins with the wise one. Are you ready? And so too does Chip the monks. Chip began his power monk training, which he did without any fuss or complaining. Wise one taught him a powerful rhyme to say when a lie tried to enter his mind. All you have to do is remember it's not true. Leave it. Just leave it. Simply, dimply, don't believe it. Drop it. Just drop it. Remember, you can pop it. Wise One showed him many wondrous and powerful ways to remember the truth in the darkest of days. Chip learned to stay calm and peaceful and centered, even when Pea Brain and his trouble bubbles entered. He realized his work was to teach everyone that inside the mind is where fear is undone. Chip knew if people turned away from the pea, they would remember how to be happy and free. He pictured their joy and delighted surprise as the pea dissolved right in front of their eyes. Chip knew if the lies weren't believed anymore, pea brain would be a pea puddle lying on the floor. <laughs> I don't know if you can all see that, but it says love wins over, over the top. Once Chip saw the truth, he had all that he needed. His power monk training was finally completed. Clear in his mind and sure in his heart, Chip knew that the time had come to depart. Before Chip gathered his friends to go, wise one had two gifts to bestow, a simple monk's robe and a harmony token to remind him that true love can never be broken. Chip and his friends walked down to the gate, straight towards a world filled with lots of mistakes. Looking back at Wise One with love in his eyes, Chip raised his paws in a heart-shaped goodbye. He knew they could never be truly apart. They were joined forever, heart to heart. <laughs> 